I just drove the GII the GDR for the first time and to be honest it was uh, was very, very exciting. I didn't know what to expect coming to Sydney Motorsport Park today. Um, how it would handle, how it would break, the power it would have. I mean, what, 20, 25 years of evolution from that to the current V8 supercar Nissan Altima that I drive. It's, it's a long time and motorsport progresses at a great rate of knots. So when I jumped in, first things first, back to an old H pattern gearbox, um, which was really pleasant to be honest. It takes a fair bit of um, finesse to get it exactly right. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. The car, it really, really impressed me. There's no doubt about that. The lap times that this thing would do if you tuned it to the track, pretty damn close to a current spec V8 supercar. So it really shows just how far this GDR um, really was ahead of its time. Driving the car today, I've done you know a couple of three lap runs. It's pretty easy to get the hang of it to a certain extent and get almost the most out of the car. For sure, there's still a little bit of time out there, but the more I talk to the guys and the more I learn about the car and the history of it, the less I want to drive it because it is such an iconic car. I mean, all the logos are painted on, not stickers. And um, yeah, look at the way it's built, and this car's never been restored or crashed. It's uh, it's something that really should be in a museum. So I think we'll, we'll probably leave it at that for today. <laughs>